Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and uh, here's your Stockwatch list for June 7th, Wednesday. And a quick look at the futures for tonight. Uh, pretty much flat right now, NASDAQ up 1, S&P uh, down uh, 0.50, and Dow uh, minus 3 at the moment. And um, so we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the SPY real fast. Um, you know, we had a couple, have a couple of red days now in the SPY. Couldn't break out over that, you know, 244 resistance spot. And, um, but we're still holding the uh, 5 EMA green dotted line right here. Um, you know, if we do break that, possibly the uh, 10 SMA uh, could come into play real quick. Um, and that's at 242, uh, 242.18. So we'll call it 242 even. And um, then after that, we have the 13 uh, EMA, which is 241.79. So a couple of moving averages there for you. And then the uh, 20 SMA is 240.51 on the SPY. So if we should get some continued selling, some areas to look for, for a possible support. Uh, GLD was up today. Uh, gold was up. GLD was up uh, 1%. SLV. Uh, was also up almost a percent, 0.78% on the SLV. So it's been climbing, uh, you know, steadily off of the lows here at that 15.25. So we'll see what they want to do with that. Um, I have quite a few stocks on watch, but a uh, few of them are, most of them are, a lot of them are gold stocks, I should say. Um, so first one up on deck here is uh, AG. And a lot of them are going to look like this, so we'll go through them really quick. Um, AG. Um, over, you know, almost 7 million shares traded, um, basing under, you know, 9 bucks. Uh, you do have a sloping down 200 SMA, but um, see if this can break out over 9 and get a continuation move. In a, And this is a silver name, AG. Uh, AMD, we talked about this one yesterday, and we got a nice pop in it today. It was like right out of the open, uh, AMD. Here's the 5-minute chart pre- and post-market. But uh, you see it was basically flatlined here uh, pre-market. And then it just took off like a rocket for the rest of the day. And um, <clears throat> this is because of cryptocurrencies. And um, evidently their chip is good for mining. So mining the cryptocurrencies, whatever that means, I have no clue. I thought you used a shovel for uh, mining, but what do I know? Anyway, so uh, it's involved with cryptocurrencies and the speed of their processors help out with uh, mining and of uh, cryptocurrency. Um, next thing up is uh, AXAS oil gas name. Um, you know, looking for that $2 break on the name. Uh, 1.1 million shares traded on AXAS. So keep your eye on that one. Got a request for uh, BlackBerry. You know, um, they won that lawsuit from Qualcomm. They get the gap up and uh, then it becomes, you know, a real company I guess right it's been running up ever since so it's holding strong holding the 5 EMA holding the 10 SMA uh, you know I just have a hard time putting in new purchases up here um, I would like a pullback maybe to the 20 uh, SMA a retest of the 20 SMA around you know 1050 right now but moving averages are always moving so we don't know what that number is going to be but you know a retest of the 10 SMA I mean 20 SMA uh, might be interesting on the name, so BBRY, but uh, holding up strong. Uh, BIOS, well, we had this one on watch yesterday. It's trying to break out over all these moving averages. So the high today was uh, 216. So we're looking for that, you know, 217 break. If you want to wait for the 220 break on the name, uh, almost 2 million shares traded in BIOS. Uh, CCIH, uh, you know, popped, dropped. Uh, holding above the 5 EMA on the daily chart here. So uh, we have a high of 140, maybe 145 gets us up back through 150. I mean, 150 would be ideal uh, if you want to try it a little bit earlier, you know, 145. Volume obviously has been going down, but we'll see, right? Popped on big volume, pulling back on light volume. So that's usually good. Uh, DRWI. And I'll bring over the five minute after hour chart. And, uh, you know, it's up here, almost broke a dollar in after hours. 
and uh, they had a deal with um, oh what was it I put it out on Twitter one second while I look for that for you guys oh, man I thought I had it in my memory banks and I lost it but here it is okay DRWI dragon wave jumps 50% on smart sky contract win so they won a contract and that's why the stock is moving up so you know we'll have to have it on watch tomorrow uh, and see if we can get any kind of uh, play in DRWI the stock was what um, you know an $11 stock it's been getting crushed and uh, you know now it's popping in the after hours so you might want to put DRWI on your watch DVAX um, you know we had this big pop on big volume but we had uh, you know 5 million shares traded today uh, so it held up it's above the 5 EMA uh, we have a high today of 715 if we can get over that high 715 um, you know might be worth a shot uh, for DVAX another one I'm looking at is uh, ELF ELF uh, volume came into the name today nice pop um, this kind of reminds me of uh, what's that goose right goose you know popped and then it's had a big continuation move so maybe ELF wants to do the same thing uh, the CEO was just on Kramer um, and it's trading was trading up a little bit after hours so we'll see not a favorite on uh, ELF in case I took that away too quick but uh, you know if I can get over this uh, 2675 spot uh, might get a nice move in it uh, ESPR um, looking for the high a day break here a uh, high of 3638 uh, not much volume in the name but the chart looks nice and uh, and we're getting back above the 50 SMA so if you take out a 3640 um, could get interesting uh, you know it's 3583 now so um, you know have to set up intraday or you know um, as a swing trade uh, if it can get up over that and then probably use the 50 SMA as a stop out or maybe the bottom of this candle. Um, yeah, which is about 34 bucks. So uh, FCX with gold moving up and oil moving up. And uh, they still have copper listed here. So and uh, we held the 400 a couple of times here, the 400 SMA purple line coming up off of that so the logical number here is the high of 1198 which leads us to if it can take out 12 bucks uh, 22 million shares traded on the name today so this might run with the other gold names and they're in oil too now FCX if I remember correctly uh, FEYE big pop still trying to get over and hold above this uh, you know 16 level 1615 was the high uh, 8 million shares traded closed at 1579 so if we can get back over 16 um, you know it might be you know interesting uh, then it would have to take out that 1615 uh, we have a previous high back here of uh, 1625 so I think I would just let this one you know take out 1615 and then maybe use um, yeah, if I was going to swing this, uh, you know, use that 1541 as the stop out area, the bottom of this candle or the 5 EMA as my stop out, which is at 1546. So we'll call it 1550 stop if you want to try to swing trade that. Uh, and uh, Palo Alto Networks uh, CEO was on Kramer tonight. Uh, this one is having an issue up here at the 400 uh, moving averages. EMA is the dotted solid is the SMA and um, so it's having some you know indecision candles here and um, Kramer CEO visit <laughs> sorry visit by the CEO didn't really move the stock in uh, after hours sorry about that um, so we'll see what that uh, fire eye wants to do uh, FOLD you know still struggling with this um, you know range break here um, six eight sixty eight is the high and um, then we have a previous high of eight seventy nine so it has to get over you know today's high and uh, you know maybe eight seventy five on a FOLD for that continuation move on a FOLD uh, GG another gold name 
Uh, big volume in most of the gold names today. Nice candle. So you see if you can get a continuation move in the name on a GG. You know, red to green might be interesting too. Uh, GLBS uh, Shipper had some pops. Actually played this one today. Got a nice move in the name. I also played Dries, D-R-Y-S, and got a nice move in that name. Uh, traded Dries uh, over $2.02. I think I hit $2.30, but I was gone at, uh, what, $2.22, uh, most of it. So uh, GLBS uh, has a high today of uh, 155 So I'll be looking for that 155 break. Um, we have a little bit of resistance up here at 177 but uh, I think 155, um, 156, um, or if you want to wait for 160, you know, to possibly get a continuation move on GLBS, um, HMNY, another gold name. So these are pretty much, we'll just blow through these gold names. You see the volume, so possible continuation move, you know, over 210 on HMY, HZNP. Uh, nice volume today in the name. They had news, um, so maybe over 11.50. Had a high of 11.44, uh, from and it closed at 11.04. So we'll see if this can set up uh, intraday. Maybe it wants to fill this gap uh, here on uh, HZNP. Uh, INFN uh, starting to take out, you know, this resistance here. Uh, looks like it's trying to get over 10.75. Closed at 10.60. So over 1075, um, this one could move 1.7 million shares traded on it. Uh, INF, did I say? Yeah, INFN for this one. And then INFY is the next one. Sorry about that. Um, and we have a high of 1562 on this INFY. Um, it is an ADS though. That's the only thing that bugs me about this stock. Um, but we have 8 million shares traded. Uh, you know, if we could take out the highs of the day, uh, 15, we'll call it 1565. Um, there is uh, some resistance up at 1569. So if you want to wait for it to break out above this candle, you know, but then you might as well wait for it to take out 1575. So um, it's not a favorite. Um, you know, I don't know. The volume was good. I, I would say over 1565. If it's going to go, it should go over 1565 and then challenge this 1575 spot. So maybe one to keep your eye on. Uh, L I N U uh, volume pop. You know, this would have to set up intraday. It's an under, you know, 50 cent stock. Um, so, you know, not an easy one to trade. But I know some people like to trade, trade these. Uh, you know, uh, cheapo ones, and they, they can be interesting. I had a nice big run up here, and I got up to the 400 moving averages and then pulled back. Now it's starting to pop up again, so L-I-N-U could make a move. Uh, M-E-I-P. Uh, this thing has one, two, three, four, five, like six days down now, um, but it's at the 13 EMA, so a pullback from the highs. Uh, if it can get back over, say, 2, we'll call it 2.10, um, you know, might be interesting on this pullback to the 13 EMA, yellow line right here. Uh, MOSY, uh, you know, volume today, about over 500,000 shares. You know, the stock has been moving down, but it's starting to break above. You know, you can see imaginary trend line here. It's back above the 5. Uh, EMA and the 5 EMA is crossing my 10 SMA or some people use the 4 EMA crossing the 8 EMA so you know um, anyway uh, you have the moving average cross here so this could be interesting intraday um, you know once again this is an under one dollar stock you have a high of 85 cents so if it can clear 85 cents perhaps you get a move up to you know a dollar or so uh, NG this is another one of those gold names uh, 5 million shares uh, traded, nice candle, nice volume. So we'll have to see, right, what gold wants to do, but this could give you a continuation move in NG. Uh, NK, you know, uh, popped, pulled back, popped again, pulled back, and it's popping again. And uh, 800,000 shares, and uh, you see the wedge kind of forming here. 
right? We're in this consolidation. You can take this one, and there's your consolidation uh, pennant flag. Uh, the high on it was 441. So 445 might, you know, send it, but 424 was the close. I'm trying to see if we can get in a little bit earlier, and I, I don't think so. Um, I'd want it to clear, you know, 442 or 445 to maybe get a continuation move. So I don't know if that's going to happen, you know, tomorrow. But keep it, you know, keep it on watch. Might give us a red to green uh, biotech name. Uh, so it could get interesting. Uh, NNVC had news after the bell, and I forget for the life of me what it was. Um, let me see if I can find it one second. Okay, NNVC reports excellent inhibitory effects of its topical shingles treatment. Okay, so uh, excellent report for its uh, shingles treatment. So this popped after hours, got up to $1.95. So you may want to keep this NNVC on watch early tomorrow um, to see if it sets up for you, um, you know, maybe pre-market or as the market opens, NNVC. And uh, so they had news with uh, shingles topical. Uh, OCLR was a very strong stock today. Uh, 39, call it 40 million shares traded. So looking for a possible red to green, hoping that 10 uh, would be a support area. Uh, on the name and then uh, so OCLR if you can pull back maybe to 10 and then we get a push up so it could be interesting on the name big volume candle here on uh, OCLR so definitely one to watch and uh, what was it up uh, close to 9% for the day so you would think there'd be a little bit more of a pullback and then from that pullback maybe we can get a continuation move up so looking for it to hold this 10 spot. OHGI, a uh, big pop in the name today. Uh, 3 million shares. Uh, could be a pump and dump. Most likely it is. I don't even think I saw news on this at all. So it's probably a pump and dump. But, um, you know, one never knows. Anything can happen in this market. So I'll have it on watch. See if it sets up uh, intraday. But I'm thinking, you know, there's no volume in the name. Then all of a sudden, you know, we get this big pop. And I didn't see news. If anybody saw news, put it in the comments down here in YouTube and uh, let me know what it was. Uh, PAAS, Silver Company, uh, looking, you know, it's above all the moving averages now, so that makes it nice. Um, the candle has a high of 1821, uh, 2.4 million shares. So the natural number is, to get over is 1825. We closed at 1813. So, uh, you know, this one could be interesting. There's not much in the way uh, if it does clear that uh, 1825 spot. If you want to try it a little bit earlier, um, you know, 1815, 15, but just be aware it has to clear that 1825. Uh, PTCT uh, volume today, almost 3 million shares, trying to break out over uh, 15, closed at 1431. So we'll have to watch this one intraday. It's a biotech name, but um you know had a nice pop today rei oil name nice candle um you know you have 1350 up here so we're looking for it to take out 1350 uh, almost 2 million shares traded in the name uh, i just want to show you guys something here is a stock that pulled down all the way to the 400 uh, sma and the 300 sma now i don't know if they were exactly there when this all happened but um, you know, on this stagnant chart, they did come down to that area and then it bounced off there. So, you know, what is it? Listen, if you're looking for pretty charts, you know, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for moving averages um, that can show me areas of support. And, uh, you know, I noticed the 400 and the 300 come into play. So it gives me a reference point. And, um, you know, I'm not saying they're the holy grail, the end all be all. But I just like to use them as a reference point um, to see where if I can get a possible bounce off them sometimes. All right. So that's why they're there. Um, it's not a beauty contest. The charts are for, you know, uh, seeing price action and uh, reaction to moving averages. Um, RRR Red Rock Resorts. To be honest, never heard of the company. Uh, 1.1 million. 
trying to break out over this 24 had a high of uh, 24 12 so you can wait for a break of that or you could wait for it to get back over 24 like 2405 on uh, three R's here and um, so you know the casino stocks have been very strong MGM LVS uh, pen I think uh, yeah made new highs today win so this RRR you know might want to join the party so keep that one on watch uh, SALT this is a shipper uh, over 700,000 shares and uh, had a high today of 635 so looking for that 635 break and uh, I don't know if the shippers want to start you know turning around here's dries right and uh, had uh, 7.5 million shares come into the name. I traded this um, and I got, like I said, I got up to, uh, what was it, 222, sold most of it. I'm not in it any longer because, you know, probably do another reverse split or something. Um, so salt, you know, maybe one to watch. I think I saw DCIX pop and also, yeah, DCIX, another shipper. This one's under 50 cents was uh, popping if you want to add this to your uh, list and uh, so and then uh, I remember Sino was one of the stronger ones uh, but that one didn't participate all right and then another shipper SBLK that kind of participated a little bit um, but not much so you know GLBS uh, is one that I'm really keying in on this is we went over this one a few minutes ago so that might be the one to watch uh, SGYP uh, close to 5 million shares traded looking for that $4 break again for tomorrow close a uh, high of 399 so maybe 402 let's see what this candle is 408 yeah so if we can get back over 402 to me it's worth a shot if you want to try to swing it you know you use this uh, 380 area as a stop out or the 5 EMA uh, SSRI, uh, this is another silver stock, okay, and uh, you see the volume that came into it, close to 3 million shares, trying to break out, bust out over this $10 resistance, high today was uh, $10, so 10.02, 10.05, uh, might get this going, you know, more of a swing trade, I think, and here's that 400 in play, um, so we we're around the 400 EMA, and then we got back above the 400 moving averages and it popped here we came down to the 400 sma and now we're turning around so uh tlgt uh nice volume today and we have a high of uh, 891 so maybe nine bucks on this one if it can break nine bucks tlgt drug manufacturer and i'm just curious what's uh tava doing not that it's uh or any of these myl not doing much vrx not doing much but this one is strong and um you know the other day loxo uh you know had this big gap up and that's holding up so um this one if you want i don't have it on my list but it would have to get back over 72. somebody had asked me about it on uh, twitter so i'm just pointing that out uh, big gap up i think it has to you know consolidate for a while um and then we have a WPM. This is the old Silver Wheaton. Remember SLW? So uh, WPM, they changed their name to this. I have no idea why. Um, so we're looking for that 21 break. Uh, has a high of 2087. 2095 might be enough. Or you can wait for this 21 break. 3 million shares traded in the name. So that's the watch list for tomorrow. And... Um, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to the, you know, to YouTube, but I uh, need more. I'm trying to get up to 500 on the YouTube, and I would love to do that uh, this week. So if you can hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the thumbs up, which you guys have been doing. Um, I really appreciate that. Thank you for all the nice comments on the videos. Uh, that's, um, you know, thank you for taking the time to uh, say all that. And uh, just to make note, WPM came down to the 400 SMA, popped, came down to the 400 EMA, popped up, came down to the 400 SMA, and popped up. All right, so hit that subscribe button, and um, I would greatly uh, like to thank everybody for doing that that has done that. This has been Zozo Stock Watch. This is your stocks to watch for June 6th. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.